Okay, for the uh, shin area, what we're going to do is paint the back of the knees uh, with the uh, smoke gray. Um, we've already painted it white with the Krylon uh, Fusion. But in a lot of the images that I've seen, it looked like it was uh, gray inside the knees when they bent their knees. So we're just going to throw some of the gray in here. There we go. Okay, so now that the inside of the knee is dry on the uh, shins and calves here, we're going to go ahead and start using the uh, gray, uh, sorry, it's the smoke gray Krylon Fusion to add some of the accent. I'm going to start just right underneath the calf point here. That's going to give the illusion that it pops a little bit more. And down in the knee, we're going to do it a little bit of fat and under the knee. And on the side, follow that through. And down the front of the shins, down the sides of the ridge there. And a little bit at the top of the knee and on the sides of the knee here. Just to help it pop. And then down below in the ankle area, to give the illusion that the ankle is even thinner. And maybe a little bit at the top there. And that's, uh, that's about it for on the shin. Okay, so for the shin, we've already painted it gray and we've let the uh, gray dry, so we're going to be using the medium grit sand sponge and uh, sanding the uh, higher areas so that the gray will stay down in the uh, lower areas. Give it a little bit of contrast. Sort of like that. Um, at the back, we've left it a little bit darker down low to add a little bit of the uh, shadow effect, so we're going to kind of hit the edge there with the white. And uh, we want to uh, remove some of the gray so it doesn't look like it's been sprayed directly out of the uh, spray can. You take your sponge in different directions, uh, kind of give it a little bit more of a worn look to it. So something like that, and uh, I'll do the entire shin and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I've uh, sanded off the gray area, um, leaving behind some of the gray to give the shadow effect and the uh, worn look that we see in the animated series. So this is the shin. Okay, so what we're concentrating on is uh, giving a little bit of a dust look using the almond. Um, so we're just going to very lightly mist this on. Just going to cut down some of the white, adding a little bit of the beige to it. You're basically literally just letting some of the dust hit it. And if you get too much on it, you can again uh, go over it with a sanding sponge. But basically we just want to just, just to cut down the white a little bit, just add a little bit of the almond tone to it.